Hey, in this video, I'm going to go over the Luma Booth settings for 360 photo booth events. Okay, so what is Luma Booth? So if you are a new 360 photo booth owner, um, Luma Booth is a photo booth software. Now there are other photo booth softwares that are out there, but I would probably say that Luma Booth is beginner the most beginner friendly um, because it's at a really good price point. Um, the other softwares, while they do have a lot more features and you know they're way cooler, um, they also come with a price tag. And when you are first starting out, you might not um, have that much to invest um, in your photo booth software. Um, so Luma Booth is good because it's simple, it's to the point, and it does exactly what you need it to do. Uh, for your 360 photo booth. So price wise, so it's $18. It includes uh, two licenses, two licenses for two devices. So for us, we use our iPhone for our 360 photo booth, and that would be one device. And then we have a second device for our uh, digital selfie booth, um, or our snap and print uh, booth, our DSLR booth that um, uses the iPad. So that would be our second device. Now we also do pay $7.99 for LumaShare. So LumaShare is for the iPad and it's if you have a share station. So instead of people coming over to your phone to view their uh, videos and to also text or email themselves, they would go over to your tablet or your share station. Okay, so now I have a screen recording of my phone because I wanted to show you the exact settings. So on the right hand side up here, um, this is where I have all of our events. Now, if you're just starting out, you would just click on new event. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into settings um, from my previous events so that I can just show you what our settings are and then you can go ahead and adjust yours. So let's see. Um, okay, so I went ahead and launched the event. You're not going to see this screen. If you select it, new event, you are likely going to see this welcome screen here. So this is the welcome screen. Um, if you are, so the first thing that you're going to want to edit is this part right here. So if you just double click on this, you can edit this title and you can edit this um, date. Now, this isn't going to affect the back end or anything like that. This is just for you. If you're having people come over to your phones, you likely want to have that updated. Um, there is a setting to toggle that off um, under font. You can toggle off the text if you don't want it there. So hide all text. And then the other setting that we have is uh, this camera preview. So we have camera preview toggled on. And if you have it toggled off, that means that you would have a background. Now, the reason why we have this camera preview set uh, on is because we like to make sure that we um, we have people in frame. So like taller people, we want to make sure that, you know, we adjust it um, to fit the person or for, you know, kids or shorter people, we adjust it down. Um, so that camera preview is very nice. And then the other thing under font is this show browse button. And that will edit this part right here. So you can go ahead and click back to your previous sessions. So um, if, you know, if you have a share station, that's not something that you're going to want to use. But if you have people coming to your phone, you definitely want that. Now, this next screen is print layout for a 360 photo booth. We won't need to use that. That would be for a digital booth. And then you want to make sure that you have it set for just the 360 under capture settings. And now we're going into the boomerang slash 360 settings. So you can see here we have our countdown set to three seconds. We have our size as 1280 by 720. Now you can use any one of these sizes here. And then we used to have it to where the preset was set to um, this rabbit, turtle rabbit, but we noticed that the rabbit was really fast. Uh, so we just have it set to 13 seconds. And then we do have this reverse button on so that it goes in the reverse. So it does make it 26 seconds, um, which is a long time, but we haven't gotten any complaints about the videos. Uh, so that's how we have it set. And then we also do have this button for blink flash while recording with back camera. So that's super helpful because when the arm is spinning around, you can see it flashing and you know that it's still recording. And when you see it off, then you can just go ahead and uh, click it off. 
Okay, so um, this area is a preview. So if you want it to preview it, once you upload everything, you can go ahead and select that. This is where you would upload your music as an MP3. We don't do animated overlays. We do the image overlay and you want to make sure that that's a transparent PNG. So when you click it, you want to go into your files. So when you save, like let's say if you're saving your Canva files, you want to make sure that you save it to your files and not your photos. And then of course you can have a before recording and after recording where like maybe you would have your logo. That's not something that we do. Probably something we should do, but we don't do that. <laughs> and then this is just me showing you that um, this 720 by 1280 is showing the size there because that's what I had selected. It's just in the reverse. Okay, so background removal, we don't do that. Effects, we don't do that. Stickers, we don't do that. I went back to effects because um, if you wanted to set filters, this is where you would do it. Even though this was toggled on, I had recorded this before and it was just, um, it was stuck on, but we don't do that for the 360 videos, but you might for like a digital selfie. And then, yep, yeah, we don't do stickers, um, camera settings. So in camera settings, you want to make sure that you go to video slash boomerang and you want to select uh, camera and you want to change that to back wide angle. And then for video stabilization, you want to select high. Now, this is something that um, that we really love with Luma Booth. When we were first starting, our platform was very shaky and we did all the things. We adjusted the little legs. Um, we were moving the handle. Like we were just doing all the things, right? And it just was not working. And when we added this, our videos were like perfect. So I would definitely add this if you're having that issue where um, the video is shaky, add that video stabilization. So this is one of the reasons why we really wanted Luma Booth because that was a real problem for us. And print setup, we don't do that. And then email SMS, we have it set to email and SMS. We don't have it set to Instagram because it basically just emails them and you know they could just they could just receive an email. So we don't even have that on because it's kind of confusing. And then here for our reply to, we just have our customer facing email address here for our subject, here is your photo. And then for the body we have, here is your photo from Build Your Best Event. So our business name, and we do the same thing for the SMS text. Sharing, so we have all of the ways to share on. And then for sharing screen, um, this is for if you have a share station, um, I believe, but those are our settings. And then WhatsApp. So we don't usually toggle WhatsApp on, but if somebody asks for WhatsApp, then we just will toggle it, toggle it on. And that's for like people who are maybe like international. Um, those three screens, those are not something that we set up. And now this is the event launched. And now I'm going to go and show you where you would share your link. So you'd click on that link on the left hand side, and then you would just toggle this on. And here is the actual link that you would send to your client. Now you can get this on the back end. If you go to photoshare.com and you sign in there, um, you can go ahead and get the link there as well. It doesn't just have to be from the phone. Um, and if you go to photoshare.com, that's where you see all of your gallery. You'll see all of the, um, all of the photos. So if you need to delete a photo, that is where you're going to delete it. And what we do is on our business phone in the little, station. Oh, I guess you can see on here on the little station right here. Um, we have this photo share icon and that actually goes to the rub address. So when we click on it, let me just make sure. Oops, wrong one. Okay. When we click on it, it goes to the web address and then we just go ahead and enter our email and our password and it's just saved on there. And then it'll open up and we can go ahead and delete any photos. So if you take any test photos, you can go ahead and delete those. And I know in the beginning, like that was something that we really worried about because with our share station, you can see that, um, but you really don't have to worry about that um, right away. And sometimes it won't delete right away. Sometimes you may have to close the app and then close it back down. Um, it just takes a little while for it to actually delete. So if that is happening to you, I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, but there are some settings in there that you can change um, through LumaShare where it'll ask you like how many photos do you want to show? So maybe you want to show photos within like the last hour 
that's something that we've done if we've tested like earlier because you know we'll get to the venue a couple of hours early and we'll do it that way just show photos within like the last hour and that will not show our photos um so you could do something like that but uh yeah so i think that was it no i have a little bit more i lied okay so i have some videos here that are basically just showing you how to uh launch your event and how to sync your iPhone with your share, share station. So what we're doing here is we are opening up a Luma booth and we have launched the event and oh let me see did I lose okay I think if I lost signal okay so um going into Wi-Fi settings and making sure that the Wi-Fi is on the same, the same Wi-Fi. So we have a, um, what do you call that thing? A wireless water, a hotspot, a hotspot. There you go. <laughs> Technology. Um, and then we're going to go over to the share station and we are going to make sure that it is also on the same Wi-Fi. And if it's on the same Wi-Fi, then it will go ahead and pick up the phone. Okay, so now we're opening up Luma Booth, no, Luma Share. And so we can see that our phone is coming up because it's on the same Wi Fi. And we click on it and now it is connected. So, of course, there aren't any photos showing there because we haven't taken any photos yet. And that is it. So, that is how you would set up Luma Booth and then how you would connect it with LumaShare. If you have um, any questions for me or if you want me to uh, share any other videos, uh, let me know.